okay so hello friends uh, today in artificial intelligence we are going to study the state space search and the production systems so first of all a state space search what is a state space search and what does it represents so a state space represents a problem in terms of the states and the operators that changes the states so this is what the overall definition for uh, the state space a state space consists of a representation of the state the system can be in for example in a board game the board represents the current state of the game for example if you are playing a chess and uh, just in the middle of the game uh, you become thirsty and you want to uh, have uh, the water as well as a coffee so uh, when both of the opponents will uh, just wake up to have coffee at that time what will be the state of the board that particular state will represent the current state of the game okay so this is what the current state means now a set of operators that can change one state into another state are the one which used to play a very important role in doing all these things it means that whenever you will apply these operators to the goals or to the states then those states they tend to actually migrate from one state to another state in a board game the operators are the legal moves from every any given state so when you play a chess and uh, when you make any particular move your whole game moves from one state to another state so you can consider the example of the chess over here uh, so that you can just imagine how the current state of the game changes then often the operators are represented as programs that change a state representation to represent a new state an initial state the new state uh, which is a initial one uh, we can term it as a initial state then a set of final states some of these may be desirable other may be undesirable then there exist some sort of states which are your desired states which are your target states you can call them as a final states and uh, some of these states they may be desirable the output which you want may be obtained out of those final states or they may be undesirable also that means even if you get your target even if you achieve the output but it may not be good in terms of the space complexity or the time complexity and uh, there may be a possibilities that you may have a better solution than that in that case the output which is obtained is a undesirable one this state is often represented implicitly by a program that detects a terminal states of course the final state is often represented implicitly means not directly by a program which detects the final state or the terminal states or we can say mm, the goal states the number of rules that are used must be minimized and the set can be created by expressing each rule in a form as possible whenever there are less number of rules to follow at that time the complexity of the program will also become low and when it becomes low then your program definitely will go faster and the possibility that you are achieving the output uh, more quicker is uh, just produced over there so you just try to keep the number of rules uh, which are to be used uh, in a very least number and uh, we will be Uh, trying to you know represent each rule in a form in a particular form as whatsoever is possible 
then we come upon a production systems the production system it provides the appropriate structure for performing and describing a search processes as we already have seen that in artificial intelligence many of the states maybe uh, initial state maybe a final state all those states are involved and uh, mm, whenever any problem we encountered in artificial intelligence majority of them are your search problems so whenever we perform a searching we say that we are doing a search process so what is the role here uh, for the production systems the production system it provides the appropriate structure for performing and describing a search processes means your production system will not only facilitate the description of your search but also it will perform your search for that it will provide the structure then a production system has a four basic components which are enumerated below the first a set of rules each consisting of a left side that determines the applicability of the rule and a right side that describes the operation to be performed if the rule is applied so the set of rules is here they are divided into two sides the left side and the right side the left side will determine the applicability of the rule and the right side will determine the operation which is to be performed if at all the rule needs to be applied then a database of the current facts the current states is established during the process of inference whenever we are inferencing at that time whatsoever are the states or the facts which are obtained at that particular time we can say the contemporary facts those actually used to form a database and it is very very useful for us to go ahead then which is come upon with the control strategy so before control strategy we just have found that uh, the production systems are the one you know that will describe and that will facilitate the execution of your overall search process to obtain the goal state or your terminal state so then what's the role of the control system over here so the control system when we speak of it specifies the order in which the rules will be compared with the facts in the database we just have spoken that uh, we will get a database right the database of the current facts or the current states while performing the search operation and uh, the control strategy will specify the order in which the rules are to be applied to these particular database okay so the control strategy the main function of this is to specify the order in which the rules are to be compared with the facts in the database okay and uh, it also specifies how to resolve the conflicts in the selection of several rules or selection of more facts now there might be a possibility that there is a conflict in the selection of several rules for a particular instant of time you may find that more than one rule is applicable over there so over that the confusion is created which rule exactly to choose for because the selection of multiple rules at that particular instant of time may be correct in order to proceed towards the progress of the solution but here there remains a conflict which rule is to be chosen so this particular confusion is removed by the control strategy and at the same time when we talk of rules we talk of selection of facts also maybe it's also possible that we may have to choose more than one fact at a time so at that time if at all the conflict arises majority of the times this conflict does not arises unless and until there is a looping but if at all it comes over there then 
the control strategy will also help us to select more than one facts or say one fact out of the multiple facts which are available and applicable at that particular time then a rule firing module the rule firing module is the module which will fire the rule which will apply the rule which will implement the rule and when we apply or implement a rule to a particular state and accordingly if we progress to a search then definitely we get an another state one state which is closer to our desired solution the production rules they operate on the knowledge database of course we just have seen that uh, uh, during the search process uh, there might be different current states of a particular problem and uh, those all current states may form a database and the database we can say as a knowledge database also and at the same time if you want to take some another meaning of this then this knowledge database can also be considered as the knowledge database the background knowledge database this data knowledge is nothing but your background knowledge which is required in order to make our search more fruitful in order to decide the rules in order to apply the rules and proceed towards solution each rule has a precondition that is either satisfied or not by the knowledge database so every rule has a precondition and if that condition is satisfied only then that particular rule could be applied and if the condition is not getting satisfied definitely we are not going to apply that particular rule in order to get a transition from one state to another state if the precondition is satisfied then the rule can be applied the application of the rule changes the knowledge database many times it happens if you are applying a rule definitely it will bring a changes in the states and the, those may get reflected in your knowledge database also the control system it chooses which applicable rule should be applied as we have discussed before also that it specifies the order in which the rules can be compared with the facts in the database and how to resolve the conflicts in the selection of several rules so over here also the application of the rule changes the knowledge database the control system chooses which applicable rule should be applied and it ceases the computation when the termination condition on the knowledge database is satisfied so whenever the termination condition on the knowledge database is satisfied it means that we have arrived at our solution and hence there remains a great meaning to cease of computation that means we will stop computing we will stop going ahead because we have obtained our desired solution thank you